Hi, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. This time I've got three tips to make you more productive in Microsoft Excel using Copilot. I'm going to get Copilot to create a table from my data, then ask it to suggest new calculated columns based on existing ones, and create a graph to give me insight into my data. I'll do all that in no time at all using Copilot from Microsoft 365. So let's take a look and see how it works. Okay, first tip. I can use Copilot to create tables. Here I have a sheet of data. I'm tracking some financial planning information from my clients. I want to use Copilot to help me understand it better and perhaps make it more useful. So I'm going to start Copilot by choosing the button from the ribbon up here. And the Copilot pane opens up on the right. Now straight away, Copilot notices that my data isn't in a table. It needs the data to be converted to a table before it can help me. And it's worked out which cells should be in the table and that looks good to me. It offers to do the conversion and all I have to do is choose convert and now the data is a table. Second tip, let's get Copilot to create a new column. Now my data is in a table, Copilot can recommend new columns based on what it sees. So here it's asking me if I want to see suggestions for new formula columns. Now by that it means a new column based on a formula from two or more existing ones. Now let's say I want to know when my clients are going to retire. I can prompt Copilot to show me how many years until my customers retire. It looks at my data and then suggests a new column. It's taken each client's retirement age goal from this column and then takes away their current age from this one. And it briefly describes its thinking to me here. And if I want to, I can expand this section to see how it worked out the formula. And if that's useful to me, I can choose to insert the new column. And now you can see it's created a new column for me called years until retirement based on that formula. Okay, last tip. Now I'm gonna get Copilot to show me some insights into my data. Now by insights, I mean a new understanding found by analyzing the data, which I perhaps didn't know before. You can see here, it's actually asking me if I wanna see some insights. So let's see what it finds. Now Copilot came back and suggested that it could show me my client's savings by investment type. It's taken the data and it's created this graph that I can preview here. Now I'd like to keep that insight. So I choose add to a new sheet. It creates a new sheet for me by adding a pivot table and a graph. Notice that I never had to ask Copilot to add a pivot table for me. I really don't have to know what a pivot table actually is. I just use natural language to extend what I knew about my clients and insights into how they're investing their money. Okay, there you have three tips to make you more productive using Copilot for Microsoft 365 in Excel. We saw how Copilot can identify data and create tables, how it can create new columns based on data in existing columns, and how it can find insights in the data and illustrate them with graphs. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.